We're live. We are. We happy New Year. Happy. Happy New Year! It's Is it too late to say Happy New Year? It's, it's January never, 10th. It's never too late. What's the protocol? January 10th, Happy New Year. I still think today's the last day, from what I understand. Well, let's talk about <laughs> the market, though, right? Yes. I, I hope everybody uh, had a nice holiday, but let's get back to reality. Yes. The market. You know, the market has been since the New Year. It's been extremely volatile. Totally. What does volatile mean? It's had ups and downs, you know. Right, right Roller now, coaster. right now, I'm looking at the market. Yeah. It is 11:26, January 10th. Okay. And I'm looking at the Dow is down 418 Ouch. points. Ouch. That is basically. That's painful. The Dow's down 418 points, which is basically over one percent. Okay. Right? Yeah. But here's the thing: the Nasdaq. Yeah. Right, which well, is a lot doing? of the tech stocks. Yeah. It's down 265 points. That that's is a lot down the uh, almost two percent. Yeah, that's a lot. Um, and the S and P is down one point three percent. So the S and P two is down fifty one. Now, what does this mean? Yeah. Look on a day to day basis, you could look at the market and, and, and see it go up and down. But right. if we actually take the Dow mm -hmm. and you go back, yeah, the Dow is at a level right now where it was back in the summer. Okay. The Dow, the Nasdaq, so it's and lost the any gains have lost any gains the since the summer. Okay. Depending on what index, could be July, uh, mm -hmm. July or August, but uh, some June, right? Yeah. But those indexes are right where they were during the summer. Well, and that was still good. Like, it's not yeah, like that's not good. It's just that any gains from the summer are now gone. Right, well, this is a marathon, not a sprint. True. You're trying to grow your money, right? It's not yeah. get rich quick. But that's right. But the question is where it's going. And yeah. nobody, but nobody, can predict the market. That is yeah, impossible. Yeah, no, that's pretty impossible. Anybody tells you they can, they're <laughs> lying to your face. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's ridiculous. Now, yeah. I will tell you, I've done a lot of webinars the last two weeks. Yep. Um, we've done some new webinars. A lot of people on those webinars. A ton of people on Crazy the webinars. amount of people. But the basis of the webinar was, if you're going to enjoy the upside of the market, have a strategy for the downside. Yeah. So when you see trends like this, and you know, this is a trend, right? Mm -hmm. Last week. This trend started. Yeah, we're seeing this trend now. Will the trend keep going down, 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 down? Will it reverse and go up? But if you have a strategy, right? yeah, this, this that's why I love the word strategy. That's why our name, and we have a little bit of a reveal right now. You got to stay tuned because we're going to share something. There's huge news. This coming. is a sneak peek. Yeah, we're leaking it. We're leaking something right now. <laughs> we're leaking a big announcement. But I've always loved the word strategies. I'm very strategic, and for our clients, we're very strategic. And yep. my point is, getting the upside of the, of, of the market is only half the battle. Right. It's what do you do to protect yourself to hold on to those gains and to protect yourself from the downside. Otherwise, you're just riding a roller coaster up and down. And it's right? an emotional roller coaster that is, ex I mean, on yeah. top of everything else that we're all dealing with, now you got to worry about your money because you don't have a downside strategy. So there's that emotional roller coaster on that. Right. And so you don't need that. That's why it's we, we, we a strategy. Have a, we have a book coming up. That's not the reveal. No, that's not. No, different. Yeah. But like I, t I, I tell Can stories. Can tell the reveal? Because I'm, I'm a terrible seeker. Here. Yeah, but, but, but I tell the stories <laughs> all the time about yeah. people who you didn't really aware of. They like the upside, but they weren't aware of the, the risk of the downside. And right. They yeah. lost it all, right? Yeah. For different reasons. So my point to you, before anything, right, we are here to help you. Yeah. If you want some really great strategies that can get the upside but protect the downside, so you know the downside risk, you gotta get in touch with us. And our all our information is on here, but we're gonna do it now. You can do the big reveal because you want to get in touch with us at strategies for Go wealth ahead. management, and that is the new announcement. We we are changing yeah. our name to Strategies for Wealth Management because that's we are really what we do. We are rebranding our name. Yep. So yeah. our name in the past has been Strategies for Retirement, and Here's of course, if you see that still out there, uh, it's us, right? But what we found was that retirement means so many different things to so many people, and we wanted to be clear that we can help everybody. Grow, protect their money, build wealth. Right, whether you're a retirement, you're going to retire, you're not, you're still working. It's just about managing all of what you just said. The downside yeah. of the market, getting growth, and being in a place where you don't have to worry on an ongoing basis about what's going on with your money. Well, look, retirement is all about money, right? It, Making yeah. money work for you. Yeah. But how many people I've met, successful people, who say, I ain't, I ain't ever retiring. You know, yeah. like retirement, I don't even know what that word means, right? Yeah. 
And I realized that we are really not projecting or communicating what we really do, which is what we really do is help our clients build a rock solid foundation regardless of how they feel about it. And we have many strategies to yeah. help do that, right? It's not a, just a one trick pony. We have many different types of many accounts, different accounts and many different ways that we approach helping people. So Strategies for Wealth Management is our new Strategies our, is new, our name. new logo. Uh, this is our new name. I'm so proud You're of it. You're gonna start seeing it change Our over. new colors, our new logo. Uh, you're gonna start seeing our website turn over to that in another couple weeks. Um, and we are sharing it with you guys first. Yep. Um, we now, really now, haven't officially done it, but now we're now just Now, what does this mean, right? Wealth yeah. management, again, can mean a lot of different things. Like you said, we have a lot of different solutions. Yeah. But it all starts with one thing. Understanding someone's risk level. True. Right? Yeah. Understanding the risk you're willing to take. Are you a big risk taker, a small risk taker? But we have very unique ways to measure that risk on a quantifiable yeah. measurement. Yeah. Like, we have a thing called a risk score. Yeah. And the risk score is from zero to 100. 100 most risk, zero, no risk. What's your risk score? Yeah, do you know? Do you even know your risk score? Right. Look, if you go to, let me tell you old school stuff, just like cell phones have changed and cars have changed. Yeah. Let me tell you, in our financial business, this is what changed. If you go to a broker or financial advisor and they use the word conservative or growth or moderate growth or aggressive, that is so old school. <laughs> That was a funny voice that you just used. I've never heard that voice. Because it's stupid. It's so stupid. Well, no, I think what it is is it's subjective. What does that mean? So with what we have, which is extremely (laughs) amazing program, proprietary program that we have access to, we can get a quantity, a number, and and, and and know. Like the reason why that's so old school is like you go to someone and say, I'm conservative. I don't like a lot of risk. And then you find out you lost a lot more than you thought. You go back to them and they compare it to what the S&P at 500 or the NASDAQ did, and they said, you didn't lose as much as that. Right. Yeah, you got a million dollars, you lose 20%, that's 200 grand. That didn't mean you were conservative, but to the broker maybe they thought that was so, conservative. And I think a lot of people don't even understand what all this means. No. So if you don't so understand what this easy. means, we keep it easy, we keep it simple, and simple, we're here to help. We start. Yeah with understanding your risk score. Your, whether you're an experienced investor or somebody who is new at this and wants someone else to help you with this because it's, it's emotional. It's like an, your money's emotional. You have a lot of emotions tied up in your money and where it is. And we're living in very tough, crazy very, times. Very, very crazy. So yeah, emo- we'll start with Money us. is emotional, but the, is. The, the way you should handle your money strategically to grow it, you need to take emotions out of the As equation. best you can. It's based on facts, right? Yeah. So you want to have, I mean, there's such new stuff out there Yeah, right and we've now. got it. We've you know, got you're it. saying you don't know, you don't know. You don't you know, know what you don't know, know right? Yeah, yeah. There's so much new technology out there yeah. that people aren't aware of, and so many new types of financial accounts that, you know, you're probably not aware of, but they can help you based on your financial And we goals. do this, there's, um, what's the word I'm looking for? You, we do it for complimentary. Yeah. It's complimentary. It's so complimentary. if you'd like to, here's a way to start. Which is you'd huge like to because find it's a value. Out, if you'd like to find out your risk score. Yeah. Is it 20? Is it 40? Is it 100? Whatever it is, you direct message us and we can send you a link. Mm-hmm. It's a very easy test. It's a five minute test. It's a test. Ask it's, you, it's like a quiz. It, it's a quiz. Yeah. Ask you a few questions. Right. It's kind of, we, we have, it, it's really interesting if you've never done it. Yeah. But it, it, it really, this is a, 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 a Nobel Prize winning software. Yeah. Nobel Prize. Nobel yeah. Prize. Yeah. That's <laughs> it. He's a Nobel, but that's okay. All right. Yeah, we know what you bet. <laughs> a software that, that allows you to really understand your risk tolerance. And, yeah. And we can send you the link. It's easy to take the test, uh, quiz. Sorry, it's easy to take the quiz. It's a lot of fun to take it. It's a lot of insight in getting that answer. It's complimentary. Look, totally for you guys listening right now, complimentary if you want to take that risk quiz. We'll add it back in. We'll add it back So, in. yeah. So, I think the biggest news today was our new name, our new Strategies, Strategies for Wealth, Wealth Management. Management. Uh, we're really proud and excited, and uh, we have a lot of great stuff in store. And we just want to let everybody out there know it. Yeah, and wait till you see what we're going to do in 2022. That's exciting. Blow your mind. Meanwhile, the risk risk score, check us out. Get in touch with us so we can provide one for you. It's really eye-opening, yeah? Totally. All right. See you, everyone. Enjoy. Take care, Thanks. everyone. Thanks, Melissa. <laughs>